Hello everyone, today we'll be discussing the 2018 romance film Brothers Friend. The plot revolves around Mai, a teenage high school student who enjoys cooking and lives with her older brother Yukihiro. Mei rushes home from school one rainy day while her brother brings his friend Saraho Yukihiro, then calls me outside to bring towels because he and Sada are soaked from the rain. Mai is enchanted when she sees Sada for the first time when she goes outside with the towels Sada is clearly captivated by Mai's beauty as the two lock eyes. However, they are interrupted by Yukihiro, who wishes to get their attention. He had invited Sato over for a project, so the two go inside to start working on it. Mai later hears the two conversing in the other room while doing her homework, surprisingly, Sato admits that he thinks Mai is very cute and that seeing her made him shy. This surprises both Yukihiro and Mai, the latter is embarrassed because it is the first time a boy has complimented her. Soon after, Mai notices that she is running low on groceries and decides to go shopping. However, she notices that his shoes are soaked from the rain, as a result, she crumples up newspapers and stuffs them inside the shoes to help absorb moisture. Sarah notices this after a while and appreciates the thoughtful gesture. One day at school, one of my friends announces that she finally has a boyfriend, when asked how it happened, she says that the boy kept calling her cute, this reminds me that she was also called cute by Sada, who is debating whether or not he likes her. They meet outside the door the next day when she returns home from school, and they both feel nervous seeing each other. Sada wants to know my name but is hesitant to ask her and instead requests directions to the restroom. My stutters and guides me in there, and I later feel embarrassed about being shot. Meanwhile, Yukihiro doesn't mind that Sato Fancy's little sister exists, rather, he encourages him to pursue her after learning that Sarah is unable to ask her name. Yukihiro scolds him for acting like a child, while Maya listens in and gets butterflies in her stomach, demonstrating how shy and innocent the two are. To break the tension, Sato buys a piece of cake as a gift and hands it over to her one day. They accidentally touch each other's hands, causing both of them to drop the gift. When they try to lift it up, they make contact once more. One day on her way home from school, Mai trips and loses one of her shoes, which she is then made fun of by some boys on bicycles before they leave as Mai feels humiliated, Sada comes to her rescue and helps her up. He then looks through the bushes for her shoe, which he eventually finds, Mai realizes at this point that what she feels for Sada is true love and thanks him for his assistance. Outside the supermarket, Mai meets a friend who asks for her notes, meanwhile, Sada happens to be nearby and sees Mai with a boy, he assumes it's her boyfriend and later informs Yukihiro of the situation. He is surprised to learn that Zelda believes she has a boyfriend when in fact it is just a classmate. She wishes to clarify the situation but lacks confidence, Yukihiro, on the other hand, dismisses the situation and motivates Sada. He asks him if he will really give up on Mai after learning she has a boyfriend to give them some time to bond. Yukihiro then gathers both of them and orders Sarah and Mai to go into the dog coffee shop to make a video of his favorite dog, which Maya is familiar with. Sada and Maya enjoy their time together and take many photos with different dogs as they walk home. Sada finally works up the courage to confess his true feelings to her, despite the fact that he believes she has a boyfriend. Mai clarifies that she is single and reveals that she likes him as well. Despite the fact that the two of them have confessed their feelings for each other, they are still very shy. One day, Sada explains to Yukahiro that even though they feel the same way, he is still unsure whether they are dating or not because he knows nothing about Mai, including her name. Yukihiro is perplexed by this and scolds him for not knowing her name. Mai hears this and is also perplexed because she assumed the two of them were dating. Later, when Sato is about to leave, Yukihiro encourages him to ask his sister out on a date, but he freezes and stutters again, causing Yukihiro to leave in anger. Soon after the two are served a complimentary couple ice cream from the restaurant, nervous Sato immediately tells the waitress that they are not a couple. Assuming Mai does not want to date him. This offends Mai, and she promptly exits the restaurant. The scene then cuts to Mai sitting alone in a park when she is confronted by Sora, who says he has always liked her and apologizes for his inexperience and for hurting her feelings. He then properly asks her out, and she gladly accepts the proposal. A few days pass and their relationship is going well until Maya is called into school to help supervise an entrance exam for new students. When she enters the class, she notices a freshman whose stomach growls very loudly, attracting the attention of all his classmates. 
Being the good person that she is, Mai decides to help him out and offers him her lunchbox. The freshman appreciates this gesture and assumes that she prefers him, sparking his interest in her later at Sada's home. Sada then says that his cousin, whom he is tutoring, has passed the entrance exam at my school. As they talk, Sada leans in for a kiss but is interrupted by his younger sister Aki the next day at school. The freshman, who is again very hungry and is lying on the floor surrounded by dogs, she offers him a chocolate bar and notices that his sweater is torn she quickly stitches the sweater and after a while the freshman introduces himself as Carter it turns out that Kaga already knows Mai's name as he had searched for her after their first encounter the scene then cuts to Soda's home where it is revealed that Kaga is actually his cousin the scene then cuts to Soda's during his tutoring session. Koba glances at Soda's phone and sees Mai's photo as his wallpaper. He then discovers that Maya is actually Sada's girlfriend and Kaga reveals that he too has fallen for her. This obviously causes animosity between the two but instead of apologizing, Kaga mentions that he will continue to pursue her from then on. Everything is relayed to Yuki Hiro by pissed Soda, but the latter assures him that it is all insignificant. However, according to Sada, Maya and Kaga and Yuki Hiro have been spending a significant amount of time together. Hearing this, Yukihiro says that he has an idea in mind, he knows a place that his sister will enjoy very much following a suggestion. Zelda takes Mai to a supermarket where everything is 100 yen. Mai is ecstatic to see such a wide variety of products and utensils at such a low price and purchases a few of them before leaving. As they walk, she constantly talks about Kaga and describes his characteristics. Jealous Sada inquires about a relationship with Kaga and whether or not she is close to him, just as Kaga appears behind them and it begins to rain heavily. All three of them rush over to Santa's house, which is not far away, and decide to spend the night there. Mai shares a keys room for the night, which is a very messy one. She helps her clean the room and gets to know a key who works part-time in the dog cafe shop and also likes the manager there. Later, the four of them decide to play a game of cards in which the loser has to confess who they like. Sada makes every effort to ensure that his cousin does not lose, but Kaga outweets him and eventually loses. However, just as he is about to say Mai's name, Sada points out that Ikea previously made a mistake and as a result, Soda does not consume any and does not allow Ma to eat any, however, Koga immediately devours the curry, regrets it because his body is incapable of handling the, he was suffering from a stomachache, Mai later falls asleep on the sofa, checks in on him and instructs Sada to get him Kaga tries to use some medicine on him. Chance to get closer to Mai but, fortunately, Sayota intervenes just in time, time soon after lightning strikes, the power and Saudi Arabia are compelled to go to the power panel to sort things out, meanwhile, because of the darkness, Mai approaches Kaga and hugs him, believing he is, Sada she admits that she likes him a lot but is afraid of hurting him. Caught off guard Koga pushes Mai back who still thinks he is Sada a few days pass and Mai and Sada haven't talked to each other the real reason Sada is avoiding her is because of his jealousy but he hasn't confronted her yet thinking that it might upset her one day Mai spots him with his female classmate and assumes that he now likes another girl but contrary to her belief Sada is actually talking to the classmate about his girlfriend Mai and how. In the following scene, we see Kaga in his cousin's room receiving his usual tutoring. It turns out that Sada is sick, but he hasn't told her because he doesn't want her to worry, and Kaga also doesn't reveal anything, simply texting Mai that her boyfriend is fine. When Yukihiro hears this, he informs her that Sada is actually sick and sends her to his place. By this time, he has become so weak that he can't even open his eyes, Mai stays with him all night and looks after him, she also woke up the next morning. While he is still sleeping, he prepares breakfast, shortly after Kaga appears and discovers, as they walk, Mai tends to his cousin, he takes advantage of the solitude at home, and deftly begins manipulating her, Koga lies and claims Sada has, actually moved on and is unconcerned about, this makes me extremely emotional, as a result, she runs away heartbroken, Kaga finally realizes what he is doing. A few days is wrong and selfish, still pass by and the estranged couple, have not communicated with each other. Mai is unsure whether she should call him, or not, as she is afraid of a breakup, imminent cargo approaches her one day and persuades her to go meet Sada in front of his school right away, saying that if she truly loves him, she shouldn't give up on him so easily. Hearing this, Mai runs to South School and confesses her feelings for him, saying that she loves him a lot and thanks him for everything that he has done before running off. After Soda catches up to Mai and apologizes for his attitude. 
which caused misunderstandings between them, they make up and hug one another a few days later Sata visits Mayan and enters her room for the first time where they have tea even after knowing each other for months the two are still shy and don't know what to talk about but once Yukihiro leaves the house Sata and my kiss, creating a happy ending.